Hey everyone, I am uh, going to do a, another beer review on the Oktoberfest beers. And if you see behind me a huge green screen, um, I decided to do something a little different in my channel, which was um, to give a how-to and how to do this green screen. And I'm not gonna bore you now, but probably later this evening, uh, you're gonna see that come out. It's about a 12 minute video, maybe 13 minutes. And it walks you through the process of setting up a green screen, how to do it, all that kind of good stuff. So if you're interested, stay tuned and you'll see that. Um, but in the meantime, you're probably here for a beer review. So um, today, as promised, I'm going to do the uh, Spaten, I guess that's how it's pronounced, Spaten, Spaten, it's probably pronounced German, uh, Spaten. And it's Oktoberfest. I remember reading on uh, Rate Beer that this was the original. Um, don't know if that's true. I'll take their word on it. Um, since 1397. So let's go ahead and break into the Spaten and see what this is about. I, it's funny, Chad gave me some tips. Thanks, Chad, in terms of covering the nose when you smell. Um, he said you smell, you could probably smell more of the soap on your hands or anything else, which makes sense. So I think I'll stop doing the covering thing. Um, I always thought that the aroma kind of gets trapped and you could smell it better. So um, that's one. And then the other thing that he said was I might get tired of the Oktoberfest. I might be, but at the same time, last year I did all those pumpkin beers and I found it fascinating just ta uh, uh, tasting all those different kinds of pumpkin beers. So um, I might get bored of it, but who knows? I mean, I guess if they all taste the same, smell the same, I might get bored of it. Okay. Okay, this one looks, that's a big head. Aggressive pour, but fairly big head. So you can see here, I mean, if I can show you right there, it's a, definitely a clear beer. It's very clear. I can see straight through it. It's kind of a copper reddish brown color. Very similar to the, the Oktoberfest I had yesterday, which was the Sam Adams Oktoberfest, um, though it's spelled differently. October on Sam Adams is O-C-T. This is O-K-T. So um, anyway, so this, a lot of carbonation coming up from it. I think the Sam Adams had a little bit more carbonation. I can't, I'm not sure, but I think if I remember correctly, it had a little bit more carbonation. The bubbles on this, I think, are the head is a little bit better. I don't know if that's the pour or if it's actually the beer itself. Um, but the bubbles on the side of the glass are fairly large. I mean, take a look at that if you can see it. Um, and it's kind of a pillowy, um, it's, a, the, the, it's a little bit more brown than the uh, Oktoberfest by Sam Adams, but it's, it's still a, kind of just a little shade browner than that. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Yeah, there's still carbonation coming up. Okay, first thing I get is a, um, you know, again, kind of that malty, uh, that malty toasted malt aroma. There's also kind of a sour, sourness that, that I'm smelling. Definitely picking up some spices as well. Like I said, it's almost very similar. Um, it doesn't smell as fall as the Sam Adams Oktoberfest. This smells more... You know, it's it's a little it's it's got the similar scent, but it doesn't smell as fall like. It doesn't have the the the, the nutmeg and the you know that type of that that type of uh, aroma to it. Yeah, the big thing is um, malt, kind of that toasted malt again, that nuttiness, picking up a sour type of uh, aroma to it, and even this one I can smell a little bit of the hops. A little bit. It's kind of towards the end on the aroma. Um, it's the last thing I'm picking up. So let's give it a, give it a chug. It's de definitely different uh, tasting than the Sam Adams. This one, the first thing I picked up was actually bitter. It was actually pretty bitter. Um, that's the very first thing when it hit my tongue. The Sam Adams, it was kind of this nice multi uh sweet but not overly sweet texture um and the hops uh, you know the, the little bit of tang of bitterness was towards the end uh, of the palate this one is a little bit more i mean right up front so the first thing i got it's very interesting first thing i get is the bitterness then i get that multi kind of uh, uh taste and then after I swallow, I get the bitterness again. And the other thing is it's, a, it's, it's more, um, in terms of the, the uh, 
the mouthfeel, it's a little bit more um, loose than the Sam Adams. The Sam Adams was a little bit more thicker um, in terms of it was maybe a medium bodied. This one's a pretty light body beer. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, it's very, it's very almost light beerish. Um, and I'm also getting that sourness to it. Um, so it's, it's, again, it's very bitter, very sour. Um, the mouthfeel is really watery. Um, I don't know if this is the quintessential Oktoberfest. If it is, uh, I don't like Oktoberfest, but I have a feeling it's not, even though it may have been the first. But, you know, I would say this is not as good as the Sam Adams Oktoberfest. Um, it's, just, it's just not. And so I'm going to give this probably a two. Um, it just didn't seem to have what I read on Rape Beer and Beer Advocate and when I did some research. This doesn't seem indicative of the Oktoberfest. I mean, it's got the color. It's got some of those things, but I think it's a little bit more hoppy than it should be. And so, again, I'm going to give it two. I really don't like this that much. It's way too bitter for me. If you guys like some of those bitter beers, you will like it a lot better than I will. But um, for me, I, I still got the aftertaste, it, that sour, bitter aftertaste in my mouth. So, anyway, guys, happy drinking. I'm probably not going to finish this. Um, it's just not going to happen today. So, anyway, uh, so far, I like the Sam Adams Oktoberfest a lot better than the Spaten. So, happy drinking, guys, and have a good one.